Congratulations on making your fleet safer and more efficient with your new vehicle gateway. Getting set up is simple and we'll walk you through every step of the way. Today we'll go over connecting, mounting and initializing your device. Inside your box, you'll find the installation manual, vehicle gateway, zip ties and alcohol swabs. The appropriate cables should have been shipped separately and will match your vehicle's unique configuration. Let's get you started and get you back on the road. Before we dig in, make sure that a vehicle gateway is assigned to the vehicle you'll be installing it. Visit the Motive Fleet dashboard and click on the Admin tab from the bottom left corner. Select the Vehicles tab on the left. If you have previously added vehicles for your company, you may want to click Options and then Edit Vehicle. If you want to add a new vehicle, select the Add Vehicle button and fill in the required details on the new page. In the Vehicle Profile under the Vehicle Gateway Assignment section, tap on Assign Vehicle Gateway and choose which vehicle gateway you want to assign to the vehicle. Each vehicle gateway has a unique serial number printed on the bottom of the device. Select the correct vehicle gateway and click Assign. You can also enter the serial number into the search bar field to narrow your search. When you're finished, click Save. Before you begin installing, make sure to turn off the vehicle and engage the parking brake. The first step is to determine if you want the vehicle gateway to be visible or hidden. Available locations vary depending on your specific vehicle. Some locations that may work include on the dashboard, behind the diagnostic port, above the glove box, and behind the multimedia screen. Once you've decided on the location, you'll need to determine the type of connection. Locate the OBD2 diagnostic port, which is typically found to the left of the foot well and may be hidden behind a removable plastic panel. For direct connections, plug the OBD2 end of the cable directly into the vehicle's diagnostic port. If you wish to do a covert installation or want to leave the OBD2 port accessible, you'll want to use the Y splitter cable. Unscrew the diagnostic port. Connect the original port to one end of the Y cable and screw the other end back into the original port location. Now that your cable is plugged into the diagnostic port, insert the 15-pin connector into the corresponding port on the vehicle gateway and secure it with the thumb screws. The LED lights will turn on to show that the vehicle gateway is connected to the vehicle. Remove the backing from the adhesive strips on the back of the vehicle gateway and mount to the desired location. Use the included zip ties to route the cables and keep everything tidy. Remove the panel covering the diagnostics and other electronics. Route the cable from the diagnostic port to the mounting area. Connect the 15-pin connector to the vehicle gateway and secure it with the thumb screws. If you're installing, if you're installing a, dash a dash cam, cam now, now is a good, good time to do that before, before replacing, the replacing the panel. Secure the vehicle, secure the vehicle gateway, gateway and cable using the, adhesive strips, using the adhesive strips and zip ties. And remember, to reattach, and remember to reattach the panel. Now that you're fully onboarded, Fleet managers can track the vehicle by logging into the Fleet View on the Motive Fleet dashboard. Locate the name of your vehicle by using the map or the search box. You can select the vehicle to access its live location, follow mode, detailed info and trip history. You can also access this information on the Motive Fleet app. That's it. You're all done. Any questions? We're always here to help. For more documentation and support, go to gomotive.com slash vg-install.